Hi everyone, welcome to Daily Video. I am going to introduce to you our newest product, it's the TVS 1000. It's a trackless virtual studio system. So what is a virtual studio? Usually a virtual studio is used in news broadcasting or for studio based interviews. With virtual systems, everything is digitized, except the host and the guests. So how do you integrate video feeds with a virtual world? First of all, we need a non-reflective green or blue backdrop. As we all know, color is made out of three primary colors, red, green and blue, with red reflected most readily by the body. Hence, filming on either a blue or green backdrop will obtain the cleanest result. Of course, the talent's body or clothing cannot contain any backdrop color or else that will key out as well. At this point, many people would ask how does this differ from traditional chroma keying? Well, the difference between chroma keying and a virtual studio system is simply the transition and camera movement, which is something that you cannot achieve with traditional chroma keying. But we'll talk about that later. Now, after we have obtained a clean talent signal, the next thing to do is to integrate it into a virtual system. Virtual studio systems can be categorized into different types. The 3D tracking system, the 3D trackless systems, and 2D trackless system. 3D tracking systems are capable of receiving pan, tilt, and zoom positions of the camera, as well as the tracking or dolly positions. The studio space calculated by the virtual studio system is integrated into the actual real-time dynamic 3D scene. And this type of system is usually used by professional news TV stations or weather broadcasters. The system cost alone is 30,000 US dollars at a minimum, depending on the number of cameras used. This system must be operated using multiple advanced workstations and the operators must be highly experienced professionals, specifically trained to operate 3D studios. So what is a 3D trackless system? Compared to the tracking system, the trackless system uses an immobile camera, fixed on a particular position, aperture and shutter. Camera movements and transitions are calculated by the computerized virtual studio system. Because it is an all 3D environment, this system requires multiple powerful workstations again. The budget of the overall system can be millions of dollars, but this system only need a few operators and 3D background designers to run. Thus, compared to the 3D tracking system, trackless systems are much more user friendly. Finally, the 2D trackless virtual studio system, such as the Data Video TVS 1000. The biggest difference between 2D and 3D systems is that 3D systems allow the camera to track movement and the studio view and angle changes with that movement. But 2D environments are static. In the 2D system, the camera is immobile, but it can perform lens movement via pan, tilt and zoom to enrich the visual effect. The only drawback is that this 2D system does not allow background rotation and perspective. Hence, this is where a virtual background comes into play. The virtual background can be a 3D background, it can be a 2D picture or even a landscape photo taken by your mobile phone. At first glance, 2D systems may have a lot of limitation, but more than 70% of programming uses PDZ cameras. For example, news reporting, finance programs, corporate television, education channels, etc. It ensures that the main focus is on the host and their interaction with the guest. Also, the 2D system is an easy tool to operate, with little training required. Only one person is enough to handle all operations and to create an effect similar to that of the advanced virtual studio systems. The entry-level machine costs a few thousand US dollars only, thus providing beginners with a good tool to realize their vision. The Data Video TVS 1000 is an easy to operate machine that provides high quality work at a low cost. In later chapters, we will show you how powerful the TVS 1000 actually is. So what are you waiting for? Join us and start using the Data Video TVS 1000 now.